In eastern Ukraine, nerves are running high as violence continues. People are worried that if it continues to grow, then they could see civil war. A week after a failed accord in Geneva, the state of play, today on the New York Times Minute. This week, as pro-Russian separatists continue to occupy government buildings, a change in tactics from Kiev's government. What we've seen is that the government has attempted to a certain degree to retake those towns and cities where separatists or pro-Russian separatists have been able to gain a foothold. But success so far has been very limited. Regime. Meanwhile, while Putin has kept military intervention on the table, this is not another Crimea. Moscow Bureau Chief David Herzenhorn explains. In Crimea, Russia enjoyed nearly universal public support. In eastern Ukraine, while there is some support for Russia, there are many, many more people who are in favor of staying in an independent Ukraine. What all this means is that the next month's elections will be key. The government in Kiev needs a successful vote to maintain legitimacy. Meanwhile, Moscow realizes that no pro-Russian candidate will likely be a contender. So the strategy seems to be to create a situation of chaos and disruption so that an argument can be made that no fair vote is possible under these circumstances.